Kirill, чайку, да? Чайку, да. Давай. Kirill and Valentina's morning school rush bustles with the usual hurried daily routine. But you can sense the underlying joy that they're doing it at all. I like school very much because I have friends there, I have uh, lessons there, and uh, if I didn't have, if I have no school, it will be very bad. The lack of a special school in their area saw Kirill spend much of his childhood confined to their seventh floor flat. Valentina says when he was little he kept asking me, Mum, why am I always on my own? Am I a bad person? For years, Valentina fought local authorities who refused to let Kirill, who has spinal muscular atrophy, attend a mainstream school. But with the support of a USAID-sponsored NGO, she was able to apply enough pressure to make her local school accessible so he could attend. She says without that help, they would have been lost. Perspectiva is the NGO that gave them that vital boost. USAID provides a third of its funding. Its director says the moment when they and other NGOs were told it would close caused shockwaves. The room was very quiet. You know, nobody, there were hardly even any questions, I think, because people were in shock. Nobody expected it. Those people who have been coming to us, getting support from us, they're going to either end up at home, they're not going to get the support they need, people with disabilities are not going to get the jobs they need, at least inclusive employment that we believe is, is, is key. Uh, and they're going to be, yeah, they're going to be excluded. Their challenge now is to find more funding to continue their mission of inclusion in a society that can be unwelcoming for people with disabilities. The Russian government accused USAID of meddling in its affairs. In a statement, the foreign ministry said it didn't always stick to its stated goals of development and humanitarian work. It also said that it tried to influence political processes through its grants. USAID also sponsored the Golos Group, whose website exposed electoral fraud around last year's parliamentary elections. President Putin alleged that the mass protests against his rule were orchestrated by US-funded NGOs. Political wranglings matter little to Kirill. For now, he has his wish. But there's a creeping fear that in the future, others like him may not. Amanda Walker, Sky News, Moscow.